Hmm. Hello. Um. Hi, welcome to get. What the? Hi, sorry, didn't mean to startle you. Oh, hey. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hi, welcome to Game Set. How can I help you? Sorry if I seemed a little weird. I just played RE7 in VR. That's an incredible experience. Yeah, that game is amazing, especially in VR, because it really pulls you in. Yeah, it definitely did. It makes me wonder what I'm missing from the Resident Evil 7 series. Now, I know Resident Evil 7 came out a couple of years ago, so there's gotta be something new coming out, right? Why, of course there is! There's a game coming out that pulls you right back into the world of survival horror! Great, is it a side story or is it like Resident Evil 8? It's definitely a main story, but it's not Resident Evil 8. But it's a new main story, kinda like Code Veronica? No, it's Resident Evil 2! Wait, what? That's right, Resident Evil 2! Uh, Wikipedia says Resident Evil 2 came out in 1998. What are you talking about? Resident Evil 2 is a new game for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. Okay, I'll play along. What's the story? So this game stars Claire Redfield and Leon S. Kennedy. Claire is looking for her long-lost brother Chris, while Leon S. Kennedy is out dealing with a viral outbreak on the first day of his job. And Claire and Leon escape to the police station and eventually discover Umbrella's underground base. Oh, so you played the game! Yeah, in 1998. But this game is not released yet, you're gonna have to pre-order it. But, uh... Just go with it. Well, alright then. Well, alright then. So how does this game change it up for Resident Evil? Well, in this game, you play in an over-the-shoulder perspective while you fight zombies and try to find out what really happened in Raccoon City. Then eventually you come across a titan monster that chases you in the latter half of the game, and you come across William Birkin who injected himself with the G-Virus, Am I onto something here? Why, yes! Also, the game's gonna be fully rendered. Oh, you mean pre-rendered? No, I mean fully immersive real-time graphics! Oh, interesting. Plus, the new lighting effects are powered by the RE engine, the same one they used in Resident Evil 7. So this is a new game. Yes, it's a new game! And this game is being released after Resident Evil 7. Yes! And it's called Resident Evil 2. That's correct! So won't that hurt sales? Won't parents see RE7 and think that that's newer than RE2? And purchase that, which is probably at a discount? Nope! Why not? Because it's a new game! With an old name. But it's new! Alright then. Alright then. But why not make a new game? This is a new game! What I mean is Capcom could have capitalized on the success of Resident Evil 7 and created the next chapter in the series. Why make Resident Evil 2? Don't you like Resident Evil 2? Well, yeah. Why? Well, because it's one of my favorite games of all time. It's the first PlayStation game I ever purchased. So now you get to buy it again and relive the nightmares of your childhood! Yes! Will you buy this game? Well, I might as well buy it. It's not like Capcom could keep this up. Hey, thanks for watching, and if you want to see more of the Game Sales Guide, just let me know what other games I should cover in that series. I hope you like, share, and of course, make my day if you subscribe today. This is Magnus, and I'm out. Thank you for supporting my channel. Take care.